Well, greetings and salutations to uh, test takers. This is uh, Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with a explication request. It's uh, about current yield, and I can't imagine any draw on any exam that you're not going to get asked about current yield. You know, I think of current yield as what an investment pays me divided by what it costs me. Now let's put that there. And let's get our divide line. If you can't decide what to do on the test, you should do division. So, you know, if you can't decide what to divide, take the first number divided by the second number, and that takes care of about, uh, you know, 90% of the math. Anyways, I'm struggling here a little bit with my annotation. There we go. Boom. Uh, by what it costs me. So yeah, it depends on what we're being asked. Uh, but this is either going to be, let me get a different color. In a stock, what it pays me is the annual dividend. Right? And if it's a bond, it's going to be the annual uh, interest. So it's either going to be the annual dividend if we're being asked about a stock or the annual interest if we're being asked about a bond. And uh, boom, let's get that there. By what it costs me, and that's going to be in the exam, the current market price. Okay, so this uh, test taker was presented with this uh, scenario where, let me get it again, fun here, where they say the current market price is 25. So that was given information, and let's put, uh, let's get a bigger font there. And when you do this math, what you get is the current yield, which is very testable. And in this example, they said the current yield, by the way, this is outrageous. You're not going to be asked to do this on the test. So, you know, anyways, I just think this, you know, is outrageous, but you're certainly going to be asked to do current yield. But anyways, what they're saying here is what's not a given in this question is the annual dividend. So remember this from grade school when you've got uh, two of a thing, right? And then that they say the dividend goes up by 10%. So the board decides to increase the dividend by 10%. Uh, what is the new dividend? Now, again, you've got to kind of embrace math a little bit, even if you're not a math person. I'm not a math person. But uh, there's a lot of ways to go with the math. And I like to kind of fumble around with this. Uh, by the way, when you're sending me explication requests, send me the answer key, send me the rationale. I, you know, don't send me questions you're asking me to do. I'm not here to do your homework for you. So I know that some of you work at firms where they're asking you to do these questions. And sometimes I feel like the explication request you're sending, since it's missing answer sets and rationale, is maybe when you're in your bullpen and you're trying to figure it out and you're asking me to do it for you. So tough love. You know, uh, sometimes I don't even know if I should explicate questions where I don't think you're going to see it. But anyways, enough for my rant. So just know when you start forwarding explication requests, if I start getting a bunch of them, missing answer keys and rationales, it kind of makes me think that maybe you haven't attempted your own answer. So I'd like to see your wrong answer and what the rationale is. Anyways, uh, back to the, the, <laughs> the task at hand. So I kind of like to, uh, you know, I'm kind of lazy. So I like to see if there's some kind of a math hack. And what I mean by math hack is if I look at this and I say, okay, well, let's me assume that the dividend was $2.50. I'm just going to make up something easy. And I'm going to say, okay, well, if I assume that dividend was $2.50, there's a lot of ways to do math. So again, as long as you come up with the right answer, who cares how you did it? But if I do that, I'm looking for a little bit of a hack. And I think, okay, well, that would be a 10% uh, yield. So I'm, I'm kind of close, right? So I... I would think that the dividend's got to be something less than uh, 250 because that's 2%. They're telling me before the increase, it was uh, 8%. So now I kind of look at this and say, okay, well, I need an 8% yield, not a 10%. 250, I just am doing trial and error here. So I say, well, if that was, you know, 8, 80% of the 10, that would be $2. So let me try $2. So what I did there is just take my, my annual dividend 
of 250 divided by that came up with 10 and thought, well, you know, 8% would be 2% less than that, 80% of the 10. So let's see if that works. By the way, again, I'm just, you know, doing trial and error here. And so if I do that, let me see what happens. Boom, I get my calculator. And I take two divided by 25, what it pays me, divided by what it costs me. There's my calculator. And indeed, that's 8%. All right, woohoo. So now I'm uh, on track to solve this question. So I now have solved for this here. I now say, okay, that means that that's a $2 dividend. Because if I take two and I divide by 25, I come up with a 8%. And now it says it's a 10% uh, increase. So $2 times 10% equals, and again, let me get my calculator. You can do 110%, as I said, lots of ways to do math. So two times 10%. So that's gonna be another 20 cents. So the dividend is gonna be $2 and 20 cents is the uh, new, uh, dividend. Right. Uh, by the way, that doesn't equal two. Uh, let me just go back here. That doesn't equal 220. What it equals is the 20 cents dividend increase, right? So let me just do that correctly. So I just did solve to add it together. So $2 times 10% is if you have $2 and I say what's 10% of $2. That's going to be 20 cents. And so the dividend was two plus the 20 cents. Now the dividend is 220. Okay, so let's put that there. Boom. And that is the answer to the question. So hope you find that uh, helpful. A uh, current yield, I don't think you're going to see it in this format, don't think you're going to see in this format. But uh, again, you're definitely going to see current yield. You should definitely know how to do current yield. I can't imagine SIE, Series 6, 7, 65, 66. You're not going to have to do this. And just by way of review, we said you definitely got to know how to calculate current yield. We said current yield is what an investment uh, pays you divided by what it costs you. In a stock, that's the annual dividend. In a bond, that's the annual interest by the current market price or what you paid for it. You know, that, that could be a little messier than I'm laying it out here. So the student uh, test taker was told the current market price was 25. The current yield at the time based on that dividend was 8%. And what was missing is that dividend. So we got to figure out what is that dividend because they were asked about a dividend increase. So we have to solve for that dividend first. So in terms of trial and error, I say, well, 10% is easy for me to kind of eyeball as a hack. I go, 250, if that was the dividend divided by 25, that'd be 10%. So I know that uh, I could just shop the answer set at this point and eliminate anything that is uh, not less than 250. And then I say, okay, well, I'm uh, on the right track here. Uh, it's got to be pretty close to that. So if it's 8%, that's 2% less or 80% of the 10 is kind of what, what I'm thinking. But I'm just doing trial and error. Most of these, by the way, have some, some symmetry to them. So I said, well, let's uh, try $2. If we take $2 and we divide by 25, we get indeed the 8% current yield. So now we know that's $2 and 10% of $2 is 20 cents. And so the new dividend is $2 and 20 cents. Uh, remember inch by inch, your 65, 66, seven SIE is a cinch. Yard by yard, it's hard. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you have any other explication requests, send them my way. Remember, if you're sending me an explication request, please send your attempted answer, uh, the answer key that was off answers that were offered to you in the rationale. Bye-bye. Not necessary if it's a capital question.